Hello again, it's Professor Hendricks, and the sequence I have behind me is a palindromic sequence. What is a palindromic sequence, you might ask? In the case of DNA, it's a sequence that's equivalent to its own reverse complement, meaning if you take the reverse complement, you get the sequence back again. You may be familiar with ordinary language palindromes, words like race car and taco cat. Those are the same forward as reverse, but with DNA sequence, we also have to take into account the reverse complement. So for example, if we look at this particular um, DNA binding motif, this is from the, the database JASPAR. This is a binding site for this basic helix span helix factor. And as you can see, if you look closely, you can see that it's pretty palindromic. You have G, 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 A right here. And then in the reverse, you have T, C, C, G. But I guess this right here at the, the beginning and end here is G or C. So that's sort of its own reverse complement. Um, the complement of G being C. And so what, how do we create a palindromic sequence? How did I create this palindromic sequence? Well, to understand that, let's first look at some basic ideas with reverse complement. Let's define X prime as the reverse complement of X. Where X is just any DNA sequence. Now consider the concatenation of two strings. X and Y. If we take the reverse complement of that, we see that we must put the Y prime first because in the reverse order, Y would come first. Now, with regard to the palindrome idea, let's consider this construct. Any sequence X concatenated with its own reverse complement. If we take the reverse complement of that concatenation and we apply the same inversion rule, Therefore, the reverse complement of the reverse complement, x double prime, must come first concatenated with x prime. And then when we recognize, when we take the reverse complement twice in any sequence, we get back x, the original sequence itself. And so therefore, that would be concatenated with x prime. So therefore, we can see that this idea here, any sequence concatenated with its own reverse complement, when we take the reverse complement of that, we get it back. So with those ideas in mind, all we need to do is define a biological sequence. And we need to first import BioPython from bio.seq import seq. Then we can define any sequence x. And it doesn't really matter what it is, it's just any sort of biological sequence. It can be as long or as short as you want. And if we concatenate it with its own reverse complement, maybe set it equal to a variable, We can confirm that it's a palindrome and that it's equal to its own reverse complement if we just simply check. So in other words, if palindrome is equal to palindrome dot reverse complement, we get true. If you like, you can also put that into a, an if statement. And confirm that it's a palindrome. It's equal to its own reverse complement. And with that, I'll end this video, and I'll see you next time.